if a woman were beating a man, that's also wrong. If we go together on this journey of life or journey of problem solving, it's so much better than just subduing someone else, you know. Hey guys, this is Benny. And this is Dhruv. And today we are going to review the trailer of the movie called Vibes on Strike. There's two movies about this. One was in 2016, one was in 2017. Today, let's look at the one for 2017. This came about by suggestion with, of one of our viewers. So uh, if I read the IMDb, it says, market women in Nigeria refuse to sleep with their husbands until they stand up and oppose domestic violence after one woman is beaten to death by her husband. The screenplay is written by Omoni Oboni and producer is Omoni Oboni too. Omoni Oboni was, uh, is also an actress, if you remember. She was in Love, Love yes. is War. Uh, the cast is uh, Omoni Oboli, Chioma Akkotha, Uche, Jombo, Odun Lade, Adekola, Sola, Sobowale, and uh, many others. It is also directed by Omoni Obol. Jay! Yeah! Which kind of devil is it? <laughs> Deploy operation two, two, two. This one not gonna be like the last time, oh. Yeah. 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 I know they buy this here again. Buy this trap. Hey, don't look. 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 Hey, don't we want to go with this kind of now. Now, we devil walk. And then we too, we go to our own. As oh. well as we don't they go like this, we go down there and say, no, they go. They go, and then they go use us. Somebody else. Humble Smith. Mr. Jim Smith. Let the people yeah. down the axe. Now, which Baba do the task? Jerry Baba do well for me. Now, my life is done better. Not because I suffer fast. Not because I pray and fast. No be your show, no be just a party. Daily bossing a chick, I'm no quack bossing a chick. One them man bossing a chick up. Are you going down? Are we going down? Ah, I hear me. We take what We are going up. Not better no more long. I need all them. Come on, man. Really strike, girl. Don't tell me that. Don't join bad gang. Yeah, it's very interesting. Uh, I, I do know that Omoni Oboli is very, very uh, invested in women's issues. Uh, she has done a lot of work about it. And I think her movie themes are about women empowerment. So I really like that. She looks very different in this movie. I almost didn't recognize her. The other thing I also really liked, the first shot of four women walking together. And they were all very different, like their attires were very different. So it's like women from, it's like different cultural nuances. They're from different backgrounds, maybe different economics, all coming together for this cause because wrong is wrong. And also it blew my mind when I read the description, I really thought it was going to be a very serious movie. And this is, yeah. this is comedy. Like it again blows my mind how, how they have tackled this with comedy. Interestingly, this uh, actually reminds me of uh, the Pink Gang in India. Pink Gang was started by women in a village 
And it's called the pink gang because they wear pink saris. They fight against atrocities against women or fight against wrongdoings to women. I don't know if this gang was called the bad gang because of, I don't know if they named their gang of women, but I think the guy, one of the guys was telling his wife not to join the bad gang or was it he just calling them bad people because they were standing up for their rights. I mean, there is a possibility that they did form a kind of a band or a gang, whatever you want to call it. Because, you know, in the beginning shot, they show, uh, they show how all of them are wearing the same color and pattern dress. You know, they're all wearing the same red and the same floral designs. So maybe they were kind of protesting like that or whatever. Also, what saddens me is that how domestic violence is a universal problem and it's not just about developing countries it's it's everywhere that's a sad thing right and it, it's yeah. not even uh, just relevant to any economic strata it's like all levels of people face these problems you, uh, even just the other day i saw an interview of trevor noah right where he was talking about how uh, as a kid he remembers how his mother was physically abused by his father, right? And a couple of times she went to the police and they started questioning her as to, why did this happen to you? You know, did you talk back? Did you provoke him? And these kind of questions. And it's, it's like, why does society always ask the woman what she did wrong for something that is happening to her, yeah. right? So this is, this is an issue. It's a good thing that this is taken as the subject of this movie. But again, uh, like all Nigerian movies, uh, what we generally find is that there's always infused. It's always infused with humor. So that's that's a lovely take on it. I would say you are uh, putting a point across. You are making a statement, but you are making it with a sense of humor. Yeah, that's that's really cool. And I I do want to see what happens in the movie with how the police treat this case. In many cases, women don't complain about domestic violence. In this case, at least she can't complain because he killed her, it seems like. This even happens in India. Like we, we see that all the time and many a times, I mean, women who are not killed, they themselves don't go to the police because it would bring shame to the family. So I'm, I'm glad that this movie is being made and I, it seems like, as you said, it is a problem and it is encouraging women to stand up for themselves because no one else will stand up for them. So women have to come together and fight something, fight patriarchy, fight this nonsense, you know, where, where they're beaten up. Like no one should be treated that way there for, for any reason, you know, beating, yeah. beating anyone up. There is no reason nothing justifies that in my eyes and um, you brought out another good point victim blaming is a thing not just in india not just in nigeria it also happens in the u.s like many rape victims are are victim blamed they are like oh why were you dressed like this oh you were asking for it oh you were this or you were that like and statistics show that it has nothing to do with what a woman was wearing you know so so all these issues uh, they should be faced head head on and, and i'm glad that omoni oboli is making movies is standing up for women is raising awareness for women's issues in in nigeria true and i feel that you know the more these kind of movies are made or more of these kind of awareness through whatever medium is brought to society. Uh, it, is, it is very necessary because it's not simply about a woman taking a stand for herself. Because if you are a victim of abuse, you will go and fight for it, okay? But then, you know, the perspective of the society needs to change. Again, what the same thing that, you know, instead of blaming the victim itself the society needs to realize that the victim is a victim here and if yeah. the victim has taken a step and come forward to complain about it then evidently it's a lot going on and uh, the person is uh, asking for help so you need to i mean see in any circumstance no human is allowed to hit another human that is inexcusable yeah. you can't do that you, you're not allowed to do that so no man to man, no woman to woman, and definitely no man to woman, right? So yeah. this kind of awareness, the more it comes in whatever medium, and a uh, medium of a movie is a great medium, let's say. 
Yeah, and I really like what Emma Watson once said in one of her speeches. She said, feminism is not about women being better. It's about equality, first of all. And second thing is, it's not a fight of women against men. It's a fight of women and men working together against injustice. It's not a fight against genders. It's a fight yes. where you have to go together against wrongdoings. I think many years ago, there was this movie in India called Damini, where yes. Damini, her brother-in-law raped the maid or something and she saw it and the whole family was pressuring her to not speak anything about it. And she was like, no, I, I can't do that. And she expected her husband to stand by her. That's what a real man to me is, who stands against wrongdoing. It is not a fight against genders. It is a fight against wrongdoing, irrespective of what the gender is. If a woman were beating a man, that's also wrong. The basic human existence of how people should be treated irrespective of their genders. And it is about equality. Of course, men and women are different physically, but, but there needs to be equal respect and there needs to be and there is cerebral equality, equality of brain, right? They have different superpowers. They're different people who need to be on the equal pedestal. Actually, what I feel when we're talking about equality, we're talking about equality of opportunity. It's yeah. equality of opportunity that we are supposed to give to both the um, to both men and women. It's not. I mean, every individual is different. If you bring it down to basics, my strength is not your strength. My weakness is not your weakness. My height is not your height. So everybody is in, uh, as an individual, each one is, you know, unequal. But here we are talking as a society, when we talk about equality, then it's about the opportunities that are provided to all. And treatment and treatment of people. Yeah. You know? If we go together on this journey of life or journey of problem solving, it's so much better than just subduing someone else, you know. All right, guys, so if you liked our video, please subscribe to our channel and hit that bell icon so that you're notified every time we upload a new video. We usually do that on Tuesdays. And also like our video if you liked it and share it with friends and let us know how you're doing. If there are any other movie reviews you want us to do. Until next time, we'll see you